Right East Entertainment CMD and philanthropist Riniki Bhuya Sharma is addressing a gathering at the Tejpur University. 30 odd kids, which in an institution called Sneha Bandha, and I have got 100 kids in an institution called Dajan, which is one especially visible, and the other one is nowadays we have to be very careful in using the words. We cannot say it as an orphanage. We have to say it as a home away from home. Because now a lot of human rights and a lot of organizations that already these kids suffer from lot and lot of mental trauma. And by saying that, that they are already an orphan or already uh, something, we are creating a more mental disability to them. So in my practical experience where I am saying, just when I handle Sneha Vandan, in my real life, uh, I have found a lot of uh, a child marriage, a lot of, uh, I cannot say it's a story, it's a very, you can say it's a hard fact of life and it is a very saddening effect. And, uh, and I was attending a program and which uh, it was performed by all the kids who have been a forced victim to get married and they have been rescued from cities like Mumbai. They have been rescued and one girl I was saying she was blind. One eye she was blind and I was asking her like what was the problem? Then she was saying that Madam Amukchu Chobadosti Upiyari Gisa Armuk Yapa Bondela Pathari And after that she was rescued. Then I met another girl who was just standing and she was staring at me. Saya Sidalukhi. Then I was asking like what is your age? And she said that I am 15. And she said that I was asking, why are you crying? And she said that I'm remembering my daughter. I got a shock of my life. Remembering your daughter? I said, no, I delivered a baby. And the baby, I was in a different state. So the baby was taken away. And as a mother's instinct, even if she's a 15 years old, end of the day, she's a mother. And she was crying. Then I was trying to pacify her. But what amount of pacifying can help that small child in stopping her from the feelings of her motherhood? But she didn't know what are the kind of crimes she had to go through. And what is the problem she had to face in life? And so these are some of the small, small things which I have seen and they were performing a, a, street, a beautiful uh, one-act play. And uh, the third girl, and who was the ringleader, and I could see her. And I was just watching her. And then she said that, uh, Madam, I was also, I got married. And I happened to get back the person who my mom has sold due to poverty and I went there and I started when I saw myself sitting in a brothel and then I wanted to come back and then I said how did you come back so this is a very vicious circle you cannot uh, immediately so she lured the person and she somehow got in touch with the state agency and where she got a call and somehow they helped her through counselling and they said that just get back the guy with the guy who has taken you and give her back to her son and along with her she has got a good team of around eight to nine girls who has been married including the girl who has got a kid. So this is where we are as a good Samaritans as a good citizens, attending beautiful workshops like this. So we have to put our one step forward so that we can rescue so many small, small little lives that has been suffering. And they have been crying inside. And who is there to feel the crying? And who is there to understand them? It is we who have to help them. And in a sense that we have to give a helping hand to them to bring them 
to give them a good family. So now it is like what uh, we have seen and what I've heard relating to the United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals on Child's Right. As uh, Professor T. K. Bhattacharya was mentioning that uh, the child's right leads to basically which started in the year 2015. It leads to elimination of poverty, reduce uh, inequality and health guidance and it has got a good 17 points in which the leaders of tomorrow are trying to attain by 2013. And so as a part as an organizer, I would request uh, who has been uh, doing this show, uh, who has been doing this workshop, so that we also walk hand in hand to achieve the goals, to attain the goals. It should not be limited to only to documentation papers, or it should not be limited to what we see in our TVs or what we hear in our speeches or what we read in our. Uh, what you call papers, it has to be a hands-on. And now, relating to child's marriage and an umbrella of child's rights world, child marriage is not only related to a psychological trauma, it relates to not many aspects. A child marriage, when a girl is married at a young age, I would uh, like to mention about my mom-in-law, she must be very proud.